Let's all be honest here, if you saw this movie, the only reason you saw it was because Tom Hardy was in it. This means war. Ugh. I mean, in a month like January, where every single movie that comes out is a piece of shit. Like, I mean, truthfully, Gangster Squad's the only one that's reasonably good, I hear, and I still don't want to go see it. I'm obviously not going to go to the theaters to see a piece of shit like Hansel and Gretel, whatever. And I'm, I should be sitting at home picking one of my Blu-rays, reviewing something like Die Hard, but no, I'm here to talk about This Means War. So it's basically about two spies, Tom Hardy and Chris Pine, and they're buddy-buddy, and they're supposedly pretty good at their job as spies, and then they end up both meeting Reese Witherspoon's character, and then they kind of both want her, so they start fighting over her, and that's the movie. <sighs> this movie's a mess, okay? It's directed by McG. Now, McG, you directed Charlie's Angels. I like that movie, okay? That movie's fun and silly, and it was entertaining, and, you know, I like it, okay? I don't got beef with that movie, but, you know, Terminator Salvation. Meh. Uh, Charlie's Angels 2, I'm not gonna watch it. He's not a great director. He, he's not good at directing much, but he tries to make his movies, like, fun or at least enjoyable, because... Terminator Salvation is not going to be fun, let's just be honest. That movie looks bleak and bland and boring. But he might have tried to make it entertaining. And Charlie's Angels, that movie's just there to be entertaining and fun. And this is kind of the same. It's just supposed to be fun and enjoyable. And don't think about it too hard. But good God, I mean, there's some comedies out there where, like, yeah, they're fun, enjoyable, entertaining. But if you think about them, they're smart, too. I mean, Bridesmaids. That movie's got a couple dumb humor, but you know, the story doesn't suck. The story, like, yeah, you can believe that that's happening. As crazy as Horrible Bosses got, that movie, yeah, I, be I believe that's all happening. I can follow it. The movie's not stretching the limits I'm willing to go for. Ted, a movie about a magical teddy bear that comes to life with Mark Wahlberg. Why did I say it like that? I mean, that movie, I believe it. It, it, it does not make me question like would that really happen or you know that's actually kind of dumb no this does this has problems first off okay Tom Hardy and Chris Pine they're kind of good at their job they kind of screw up like from the first scene we get of them they screw up a job really bad then the rest of the movie instead of trying to catch this really bad terrorist that they say is bad he's lame as shit and it was Hugo Stiglitz from Inglorious Bastards that guy should be awesome he's a lame ass terrorist in this he's so boring he's just walking around the whole movie Like, that's all he's doing. He's just walking around making angry faces. He's lame, okay? And then you get them. Instead of trying to catch the really lame terrorists, they're just spending how much of the government's resources on fighting over Reese Witherspoon. They're using, like, spy planes and all this uh, surveillance gear and, like, all these types of things, all these resources that could be used to get terrorists or other actually bad people. Now they're just... Like, they get other people involved. Like, everyone's just like, yeah, let's just go along and, like, help them fight over this chick. It's like, really? Like, that's a problem, but, like, if the movie's fun, I can get over it. And the movie, I admit, it was pretty fun the first bit. I mean, it's funny. I, I thought it was fun. I, I thought about it. I'm like, this is kind of dumb, but, you know, it's funny. And then, at a point, it just stops being funny, and then you just can't help but be like, Really? Alright, now there's nothing to it, because they just bring in a lot of heavy drama at one point. Then it's like, it's not fun anymore, and the parts that are supposed to be funny actually just annoy me, and now I don't like this movie. This drama doesn't work, and um, let's talk about the main people, because aside from just kind of the script falling apart, the acting, the acting is good, but I don't care about the actors. Tom Hardy is the only one, because Tom Hardy in this movie plays a very good friend. He's a good man. He's like loyal he's not like a dick it's like oh we're dating the same girl we shouldn't do this and then chris pine's kind of like yeah i should lay off wait no i actually want her and then chris pine is the douchebag friend that decides i'm gonna make this a contest and all and tom hardy by contrivance of the plot goes along with it 
But Chris Pine as a friend goes from being just kind of a douche, but still a friend. He becomes a grade A prick, and like, they would not be friends at the end of this movie. And Reese Witherspoon is a despicable character. She, like, not by certain standards, but she is um, a two-timing whore, so I don't sympathize with her. There's a scene where they try and make you sympathize and be like, Oh, poor Reese Witherspoon. No, no. That two-timing whore, I do not feel sorry for her at all. She knew what she was getting into, and you know what? She deserves worse to happen to her than does. You don't care about Reese Witherspoon. She's a bad character. She's not likable. Chris Pine becomes not likable. Tom Hardy, likable enough. That's why I didn't shut the movie off, but I mean, the, the characters, I don't like them, and the script just falls apart. It stopped being fun for me. The first half was fun, though. But overall, the movie is just not very good. I'd probably give it a D plus. I was going along with the ride. I'm like, it's kind of stupid if you think about it, but you know, it's kind of fun. It's funny. I like it. And then it just keeps getting worse and worse. And then I'm like, what's going on? I start liking these characters less and less and less. And then the movie died and it kept going. And it just died and I couldn't go with it. It couldn't win me back. No, the movie just dead dead to me. So if you like this video, you can like or subscribe. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.